right, Lead Heads, welcome back to the Talking Lead Show. I'm your host, Left Hand, and this is episode 205. And uh, we are continuing our 200th episode celebration with prize giveaways and all kinds of cool stuff. So you guys uh, be paying attention. We'll have another giveaway coming up soon. I'd like to uh, go ahead and thank our guest from last week's episode, 204, where we were talking about the modular handgun system the uh, Army's XM-17 handgun competition that Sig Sauer won out on, it appears, at, at this point. Uh, it was a very good conversation. We had John Peterson, Nate Love, Ken Hine, and Casey Griggs on to talk about their own unique perspectives and experiences with the M9 and uh, kind of got their thoughts going forward on the new system, uh, the competition itself, whether it was fair or not. Very good conversation, so you guys make sure you go back, check out that episode. I'm sure we'll have a follow-up show uh, with that. John Peterson was going to do some more investigative research for us, and uh, we'll have more in a, in a later episode, so stay tuned for that. I'd like to thank our sponsors, Frontier Tactical. Check them out at FrontierTactical.com. They are the makers of the Warlock system. It's a multi-caliber system that uh, will convert your existing AR-15 into having the ability to shoot up to 90 different calibers. And they are also manufacturing their own line of AR-15s, the FT line, and they've got rifles and pistols available uh, in those that come standard with their Warlock system on it. So check them out at FrontierTactical.com. X-Steel Targets. X-Steel Targets. The most affordable, best AR-500 steel targets that are on the market today. Go to xsteeltargets.com and pick yourself up uh, a wide variety of different kind of targets that they have there. Uh, if you can think of it and they don't have it, then they can probably make it for you. So give them uh, a shout over at xsteeltargets.com. Modern Spartan System, optimizing your firearms with their lubes and oils and cleaning solutions. Check them out at ModernSpartanSystems.com. They've even got other products that uh, will work for engines. Um, I'm using their product called the TVT on the old lead sled, and uh, it's keeping it running in tip-top shape. So check them out at ModernSpartanSystems.com. So we're going to be continuing our coverage of the 2017 National Rifle Association annual meetings. Uh, I believe this, this will wrap up all of our interviews we're going to uh, kick it off with an interview from Dylan Jennings. He's with Remington, and he's going to be telling us about uh, several new offerings that Remington has available for you guys this year, including a double stack 45. Uh, so that's going to be a very good uh, interview. Along with us on that one, we've got Adam Garrison with High Threat Concealment and C.J. Johnson with Big 3, the Big 3 East. And CJ is going to give us some updates on what we can look forward to coming up in October at that event that yours truly will be attending. And then we catch up with the guys from We Like Shooting. Sean, Aaron, and Jeremy sit down and uh, we just have a nice conversation, get caught up with those guys, talk a little bit about new media in the industry, how well the NRA is embracing the new generation of media, and uh, just a couple of off-the-wall other conversations. Of course, when we get together with those guys, it's uh, it's crazy time, so... You guys will enjoy that interview as well. But before we get into all that, I've got uh, an event that I want to tell you about that's coming up actually this weekend as you guys are listening to this, this show. It's going on um, up in Montana. Let's bring in Tom Barker and Casey Betzold, and uh, we're going to talk about that right now. All right, guys. So now we've got joining us Tom Barker with Wingspan Outfitters and our good buddy Casey Betzold with Antirus Alliance. What's up, guys? Hey, how you doing, Marty? Doing great. So we've got some some news that we want to drop on the lead heads uh, for a big event coming up in Montana. But first, uh, since this is your first time on the show, Tom, um, tell our listeners about Wingspan, what you guys are all about. So Wingspan is a company that distributes all of the Antares Alliance companies. Not that they can't have another distributor, but I take all the companies and try to get them out to market. Uh, I've got a sales staff uh, positioned all over the United States, really driving forward with the the idea of what Antares Alliance stands for, which is all 
veteran and first responder owned and supporting companies. Very nice. You can um, never have too much exposure for that. No, absolutely not. And I tell you that, that, that whole idea really resonates well with a lot of different dealers and a lot of things that are going on. And so there's been a lot of interest in it, even with the market being slow, there's a lot of interest in what we have happening. And that's really the cross promotion that Antares Alliance is based on and all these companies really driving forward and trying to get these products out to market. So it's been good. Very cool. And uh, the, the event that we've got coming up in Montana is an Antares Alliance event where you're getting all these companies together, one, one place, one spot where uh, all the lead heads and uh, the, the purchasers out there, the people that need and want these products can go and actually get hands on with them. Yeah, absolutely. And so Wingspan Outdoor Expo, the second year I've run the event. Uh, you know, I started this with an idea that uh, I wanted to run a gun show, but something that you could actually get out and shoot the products uh, instead of just looking at them because I really don't like going to gun shows where I can't actually shoot the guns. Right, yeah. So uh, up here in the, in the valley where I live in Montana, uh, we have Proof and Nemo and Falcor and Montana Rifles, some fantastic rifle companies, some fantastic gun companies. Uh, so I got them all together last year. And, and what, what a beautiful country to have it. there's nothing oh, more beautiful fantastic. nowhere more beautiful than montana oh my god no it's it's absolutely especially gorgeous. this time of year yeah and so getting out and be able to shoot some of these products and then bringing in all the interiors alliance companies together uh was a fantastic thing to be able to do last year and i did it again this year and we're right on the outskirts of glacier national park uh so there's a uh, uh nice. there's a nice range out there in columbia falls called north valley sportsman club and I have all these companies out there. And we're not only doing guns, we're doing archery as well and also fly fishing now too. So Oh man, uh, rub it in. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's it's all <laughs> out here, man. It's it's fantastic. So it's a great event and it's a great venue. So uh, so just, tell us about some of the the events that you've got set up for this that um, that the people are gonna be able to enjoy. Sure. So not only can you come and shoot some of the great products like Team Never Quit Ammunition and Reaper Control Chaos, but some of the guns that we're going to have out there, uh, Proof Rifles, I've got Montana Rifles out there. Uh, I've got uh, Maker has some nice 300 blackouts with suppressors on them. Uh, he has some, uh, some ammunition as well that he's bringing. And then I have a, very, a variety of other companies that are coming out and doing different things. But on top of all that, I have archery, uh, so you can come out and shoot different uh, different bows that uh, Flaming Arrow Archery has available. I've got an Olympic out, archer out there to help train people oh, how yeah? to actually shoot Who, safely. Who's that going to be? Tabo Saito. He's uh, he's one of the locals up here, and he uh, he was in the Olympics for archery. Um, I mean, that name that. just sounds like he should be an archer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah, he's he's an awesome guy. <laughs> but that, I mean, there's so many people like that up here, and that's the other piece I wanted to bring out was all these different people and bring them in and like let them kind of give you some of their experience. And so, I've got medical trainers to give uh, you know emergent uh, like outdoor medical training. So if you're out hunting. And you shoot yourself, you know how to take care of it. Or if you right. cut yourself severely, you know how to take or care of it. Or you accidentally shoot your hunting partner. You know. That's it. <laughs> yes. And then um, uh, I've got that. I've got survival training. I've got a laser range out there. I've got laser tag for the kids. I've got climbing oh, walls. I've got, it's nuts. And then, of course, we have uh, Nat Warfare coming out with their drone target, and that'll be flying around. You can shoot that thing all day. I'm dying to shoot one of those, man. Oh, they're so fun, man. Casey, got, why didn't you get me a sponsor for this? <laughs> I didn't know you didn't have one, or I'd have jumped in and taken care of that. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm it's going out. on next year too. So there you go. Yeah. Well, I said last year that I was going to make it this year, but that didn't that didn't happen either. But yeah, yeah I definitely want to get out there. Uh, it sounds like a great event. Uh, you leadheads, if you've got an opportunity to get out there this weekend uh, or next year, I mean, at short notice, uh, by the time you hear this, it's probably already have happened. Now, is this a two-day event, one-day event? What are we looking at here? It's, it's a two-day event. And so I have Saturday, Sunday dedicated to the event. Uh, and then, again, that's all range time, so 9 to 4 up at the range uh, both days. And then I have a social event um, Saturday night, which is uh, at the Grouse Mountain Lodge in Whitefish. And that event is more just to relax, have some beer, sit back, and just talk to one another, uh, you know, bring out uh, Ron Bellin and Casey, of course, and myself and some other special operators. Oh, one And I. just let the – just, yeah, exactly. <laughs> let the public, you know, just actually have a conversation with them where they're not, you know, training or doing something crazy. And, um, you know, just have a good time. 
I've got some great silent auction items, uh, and the last the the last item that I'm going to do live is I got a knife donated by Thomas Rucker, who is a fantastic knife maker. He's a uh, Vietnam era Green Beret, and the knife that I got donated by him is made out of the World Trade Center steel. Uh, oh, it's wow. absolutely beautiful. I, I can pull up a picture here in a second. Um, yeah, definitely send me that picture so I can put it with our show notes. Sure, absolutely. And um, now, is so that going to be got, just just for there? Is that going to be like an online auction where everybody can take part? Yeah, we're doing it. Uh, so it's going to be a live auction, and I'm going to have Ron Bellin uh, with his feed. He'll be able to take uh, bids off his feed. So you have to be part of the. You know, you have to be able to get into the Reaper Reaper Outdoors, uh, Reaper Outdoors feed and understand what's going on there, but. It is such a unique item. It's a one-of-a-kind knife. Uh, he got donated this chunk of steel. He's making eight knives out of it. This is oh, the first one he's wow. made. All the other seven are sold. Not one of them is going to look alike. And uh, every one of the seven that he already sold, which, again, aren't made, went for $4,500 a piece. Wow. So he donated this piece to me, and I, I just floored. I mean, it's a, it's a fantastic, beautiful knife. I and can't I'll, wait I'll to see pull it. it up there. Yeah, it's fantastic. And I'll send it to you for sure. Okay. It's got an ivory handle on it. It's, yeah, it's, it's got a pre band awesome. ivory handle. And as long as it goes for you know a certain amount, his wife, uh, Debbie, does a lot of the scrimshaw work. Uh-huh. And uh, let's see if you guys can, if I can pick that up without a glare. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, that's nice. And I'll, I'll send that to you, get a much better picture of it. But I'm getting yeah. it framed in a nice uh, nice frame, and it's just going to be absolutely beautiful. Is um, it, has it got anything engraved on it? I couldn't tell if it has. It does. It has a, it has a uh, it's like an oak leaf engraving, which his wife does. I don't, I'll, I'll try to pull it in there. But, it, it, again, it's going to be hard to see on the yeah. – Just read it, it says to me. WTC for the World Trade Center, and it says 9-11-2001 on the blade. There you go. That's you beautiful. Kind of see, yeah. That's all hand done. That, that's all that needs to be at least ten thousand dollars right there. Oh, I'm telling you, started it's off phenomenal. at ten thousand. And, and, and Jared uh, Ogden you, needs to buy that. You can't even with the picture. <laughs> even with the picture, you can't tell how beautiful my, this knife is. Just the work alone is amazing. And so Thomas Rucker has won International Knife of the Year twice, and he's won uh, NRA Knife of the Year three different times. Has he so been he, on I, that to reality TV show? No. Uh, <laughs> do you know what I'm talking about? Yes, and he will not. <laughs> reality tv show will he not no we should too good, we should get him on here to talk to marty though yeah, yeah could, definitely i would love to have him on he's a great guy you, you get him, him and jess on together they could have a really good conversation <laughs> that's, that's one of the other things we're actually having so i got a buddy of mine that makes knives as well shane hyatt and uh he and thomas are going to be out there making knives and so they're gonna they're gonna raffle off one knife a day uh, and then they, uh, you know, they're doing all this this crazy stuff. But this is another one of Thomas Rucker's knives. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, you lead heads can't see this, but it's a uh, it's a folder, right? Yeah, it's a folder. It's got a uh, it's not a micarta handle. It's a carbon uh, carbon handle, but it's it's absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, it is. And I use the heck out of it, and it's always sharp. It just it's absolutely nuts. That's really nice. But he's doing a bunch of different stuff, and his wife does the scrimshaw work on stuff, and it's yeah, it's. it's so I've got an idea, um, and I, I talked to Ron about this too. He still has his hair, right? Ron does. He, he does. Yeah, he does. Uh, did he yeah, not? Cut he does. It? No, not yet. Okay. So yeah, we were good. we were talking about because I'm doing my hair also for. Uh, yeah, I'll do mine. Hawks locks. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what are well, you, you laughing for? You could do the back. <laughs> oh, no, it'll look really back. good if you just did the back too. Yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> you know, pony, you like you like one of those old hip, those hippies from the from the seventies. That'd be nice. That's it. <laughs> People think you're an attorney, That's but it. Uh, yeah, we were talking about um, having somebody put up a really nice knife to to auction off to raise money. And, yeah. then, and then, you know, we would do it at an event, and then the winner would actually get to take that knife and come cut our hair. <laughs> <laughs> under under proper supervision, of course. Yes. You know, because yes. I'm sure there's going to be alcohol involved and, you know, and, and, and whatnot. We should get Gary. We should get Gary O'Neill to do it. That's it, because he won't cut it. <laughs> He'll take the whole skin. He'll scalp his hair. <laughs> He'll forget. He'll, oh, sorry. That's how I got to tell it. you a story about Gary. So oh, I, let's hear I was showing Gary uh, Thomas Rucker's knives, and Gary and Thomas don't know each other, but, you know, same era, whatever. And I was showing him the knives, and so he was looking at me. He goes, yeah, these are super nice, you know, and he was telling me, and I don't know why he got into this, but he was telling me how to cut a throat, you know, I'm like <laughs> – Okay, Gary, I'm, you know, whatever. Like, he's going, like oh, you no, don't know how to do this that, and right? This, and then he went, oh, and he cut himself on that knife. 
<laughs> and I really? laughed so hard. I'm like, dude, you're like a world-renowned knife fighter, and you just cut yourself on a knife. It's classic. <laughs> yeah, I'm posting it was, that on social media, man. Yep. Yeah, awesome. Have you read his book yet? No, I haven't read it. Uh, American it's Warrior? Yeah. It's, it's a really good read. Yeah. Good, good. I'm about, I'm probably three-fourths of the way through it right now. Nice. But, man, the life that that guy has led. Yeah. Holy cow. <laughs> it's amazing. He's a, he's an interesting character. I really like Gary him. Gary O'Neill, yeah. Yeah, he's yeah. yeah, good. He's a stud. So, Leadheads, make sure that, uh, again, if you can't make it to this year's uh, Montana Antiers, um try and buy event um, next year. Going to do Absolutely. it again, right? Absolutely. And it's Same getting time, bigger and June better. June 23rd and 4th next year. So, when's the next try and buy event, Casey? Uh, 21 January. At the uh, Pro Gun Club in Las Vegas or Boulder City, technically, um, already locked in on the calendar and and planning has begun in heavy fashion. Okay, is there a website that our lead heads can go to and keep track of where these uh, events are happening? Because you're talking about taking this and doing you know several a year throughout the country eventually, right? Yeah, we kind of expect it to get to between seven and ten a year. Um, they'll have a very similar um, connection between them. Tom's event that he does is the uh, 100% proceeds to charity event. The Antares Alliance try and buy event is for media and buyers. So Tom's events open to the public. The, uh, the try and buy is media and buyers and, um, focused on the shot show week, obviously. And, um, that one supports basically us doing more and more events is what we're going to do with the majority of the funds that come in from that. And then as Alliance companies jump in and say, Hey, I'd like to host an event in my area. So net warfare, we know wants to do one in the Phoenix area. We know Nate wants to do one down in the Orlando area for frontier tactical. Then what we see is a, uh, a shared proceeds between that host company and uh, charities that they choose to support. So um, AntariesAlliance.com, A-N-T-E-R-I-S, Alliance.com, there is an events um, or calendar on there. And we're starting to populate that calendar. And, and uh, Tom's event already shows up on there. The uh, event in Vegas will show up on there pretty soon. But we haven't rushed to put that one up there because it's not a consumer open event. It's, it's for media and buyers. So we'll, we'll focus on that more internally. It will go up there shortly. Um, but we'll be focusing within our internal group of companies to uh, reach out to get the table sold. And so if you got companies that uh, you deal with, Marty, on a, on a basis, regular basis, that mm -hmm. are looking for tables and couldn't get into Industry Day, or even if they do, Industry Day is Monday, our event Sunday. Yeah. Um, and what you're talking about, SHOT Show. So, oh, by yep. the way, this happens during SHOT Show, right before. Yep. Yeah. Yep, just before SHOT. And uh, we had about 38 companies out there last year. Mm -hmm. We had only a few lanes this year. We have the entire gun club. Oh, yeah? We have nice. 22 uh, rifle and pistol lanes. We've got 21 shotgun bays. We've got the full clubhouse. We can ship pallets of stuff in. we got carts running around. It's The whole place is ours on the 21st. So um, it'll be a much, much larger event. We'll have a concert and after party. Blackbird Anthem will be out, Grunt Style um, and the crew. And uh, all, all the alliance companies we expect will likely be there. So we're going to put you in the media area, uh, have a spot for you to do your thing. Right on. Um, Tom will have a spot to do his thing with the dealers and buyers to come through and uh, buy their products. So um, much, much larger than last year. So more than just attending and having fun, we'll do a, we'll do a full day of shooting and interviews and partying and concert and oh, it's gonna be selling products. Awesome. So, so I got to get you in touch with Morgan. We need to make that happen this week. We do because we've got uh, Blackbird Anthem is going to play. If she'd like to come out and sing or just hang out, either want to be cool. Mm -hmm. Um she actually, well, her people did, I should say, messaged uh, Snake River Shooting Products this week. So I'm assuming that was randomly via Instagram, but um, the stars are aligning. So that means yeah. that was a sign to me. We should talk. Yeah. And uh, Travis Haley has actually confirmed for the event. He'll be out there running a class or hanging out with us or helping on a range. Okay. Uh, so he's not like singing. He's not singing, I don't think. Um, he will be shooting, though, which is what we like to watch. He'll be playing then, the uh, uh, musical um, AR-500 Steel Targets. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> and uh, Charlie Melton will be there, and it looks like Craig Sawyer will be there. So, um, Saw that's, man. Now, has, yeah. has okay. Charlie done his long-distance shot yet? His Charlie record? did the first attempt at the long-range shot, and uh, the ammo didn't live up. So he's got to... Uh, He's got to change the powder slightly, but he was he was consistently thirty yards in front of the target in less than a ten foot group. Okay, but the, the ammo, to be fair, the ammo was shooting in a ten foot group at 
five thousand yards. So it was yeah, so shooting pretty damn good. very, wow. very well. It just wasn't yards. making the distance. So he uh, he's got to get another thirty yards out of it, and that's a powder change, and they'll have it ready to go shortly. So within a nice. he figures within a month or two he'll be he'll be hitting the target. So and he's shooting what caliber? Six five Creedmoor, I think. Is that right? I Tom? think that's right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yes, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Is yeah. is he using um what rifles he using? Do we know that? Isn't it the uh it's, um Steel Core. Steel Core was the rifle. Steel Core. And then a Night Force optic. I think he was I'm sure he had a Night Force optic on it. And I don't know who he ended up using for the ammo to be honest. Okay. He should and have been using Team Never Quit. I, but. I didn't ask him because I didn't want to be pissed at him. So and, and <laughs> Tom, don't don't you have an interesting background as well? No. Not at all. <laughs> oh, you got his face on here. You have liar. His full name. Now you're gonna ask him about his background. Yeah. Well, no, I was. Just, I'm. I'm building up for the next time you're on the show for our our um, listeners. Oh, gotcha. No, I was a I was a 21 year Navy SEAL uh, veteran, so I yeah. I did that for 21 years. But it's I don't I don't promote it. I don't I don't push it out. You know, it's it's all I, right. We're gonna talk about it. <laughs> yeah, and you can. <laughs> Next time you're on the show, <laughs> yeah. I'm sure you'll have some interesting stories for us. So. Yeah, I didn't do anything or you know have any fun. I just you know hung out, liar. It was all he was good. obviously stressed out because he lost his. He hair, lost so. his hair, or <laughs> maybe somebody got a hold of him and he got scalped. You know, he that's was, it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, all right, one more time. Uh, where can people go and find out more about the the Montana Try and Buy event? So if you go to wingspanoutfitters.com uh, uh, and then go to the events page, you can find the information on the event itself, uh, both the daily uh, event and also the social event are there. And you can get the social event tickets, uh, which are $50 a person, and it is basically appetizers and free beer and a pay bar. But that's, uh, it, it'll be a good time. It'll and you get to out. see a bunch of Navy SEALs running around. Yeah, and some other guys too. Not <laughs> and some other, yeah, some other guys too. No yeah, doubt. That's it. That's um, it. Marty, Marty, did you get your coin? I did, and I've made some. I've made post of it too. I got the seven hundred series. Got your number. Got Tom got number. his number too. You both, you guys were both waiting for your numbers. So I, I would, I would have waited even longer. But thank you for for getting that to me. Yeah, it's it's a beautiful coin, man. I love yeah, it. They turned out good, didn't they? Yeah, yeah, I was happy with them. They did a real good job. Um, so I was going to ask. I got to give Casey kudos on that coin because trying to get seven people to agree on one design is impossible. <laughs> Does everybody like? <laughs> he just veto like some flag? people. Do you like the flag on the back of the coin? Yes. Do you like the flag? Love yes. the flag. That that was the one that held us up was the flag, and so I ended up picking a flag with, and I didn't ask for approval finally because I was like, <laughs> that one looks really good, yeah. so we went with it. So what so, we're talking yeah. about, Leadheads, is uh, you can become a lifetime member. Do you still have any available? Maybe you sold out. I don't know. No, no, no. We got them. We got a few. Yeah. Okay. Got yep. a few. So you can become a lifetime member of the Antirus Alliance. And I'm going to let Casey tell you what all that includes and what what's involved with that. If you're coming to Montana, if you're going to air this before the Montana event, we're bringing forty try. membership packages to forty lifetime member packs to the Montana event. So we'll be selling them there on the spot. Everybody get their stuff. Um, they get a shirt that White Mountain Tees, which is an Alliance member, put together. The coin from Aviator Gear, um, Alliance member, a uh, and the, if you get a lifetime, it's serialized with the number on it, like we were just talking about. If not, it's a little bit smaller silver coin for an annual member. The uh, Aviator Gear also did our sticker pack, which is um, if you're a military guy, you're familiar with Zaps. They came in several sizes, and they were your squadron sticker usually to stick on stuff. Um, we had them do that style up for the Alliance stickers. Um, and then a PVC patch from Flex Systems USA, which is also an Alliance member. So all the swag is coming from in the member pack from Alliance companies. And then uh, lifetime members get 10% off of their uh, of all Alliance products. Actually, everything Tom carries at Wingspan Outfitters. So all veteran first responder brands, they get 10% off for life. Right so on. if they go out there and they buy a Frontier Tactical Rifle, for example, they're going to get their money back in probably one purchase. Um, and free shipping. And, there you go. And shipping. So there's there's that deal. If they're a Tactical Squirrel subscriber or want to subscribe to that, they get five dollars a month off their Tactical Squirrel. Tactical Squirrel. What is this Tactical Squirrel that you're talking about? Let's let's oh, talk about that real quick. We should let you talk about it. It's all over your website now. <laughs> <laughs> it's everywhere. It's everywhere. And 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 Leadheads as first time uh, monthly subscribers to that, you get a little extra something in your first monthly box. That's correct. As That's correct. Head. Special gift for uh, affiliate-driven subscribers. Yeah. So and, it's and, the uh, best tactical gear monthly subscription box service that you can get. 
it's Tactical Squirrel, and you can go to TalkingLead.com. There's a link at the top of the web page there. It says Tactical Squirrel Box. Click on that. That'll take you right where you need to be, and you, you get choices. There's choices there of different levels of monthly subscription boxes that you can choose from. So pick the one that fits your needs. Now, there's even one for the ladies. There yeah. is. There is. So lifetime members, real quick. There's a couple exclusive things that lifetime members get. Um, when we sell that thousandth lifetime membership, and there's only ever going to be a thousand, so if somebody's into it, they should get it before they're gone. Um, they're going to get. We're going to raffle off about three thousand dollars worth of Alliance products to somebody in that group. So you get a one in a thousand chance at that. So if you think about it like a raffle ticket, it's 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 worth buying it just for the raffle ticket. Um, and then the thing that I think is awesome um, and kind of speaks to what the Alliance is all about is all of the lifetime Alliance members are going to get an invite to every event we do, no matter where it happens in the country, even if it's closed to the public. So when we do the, uh, the try and buy event in Vegas and it's just for media and uh, buyers, that the gates will be open for our thousand uh, lifetime members, so awesome. they'll have a chance to get into things that nobody else gets a chance to get into, and they're part of the. That family. means I get to come to that. You do. We're going to let you. Know. <laughs> oh, dude, that's awesome. I, I actually, I actually hope Tom comes to it because he's the only reason it happened last year. So. <laughs> yeah, we need you there, man. We need you. There. Yeah, I know, I know. Absolutely. But we got people. We got members from all over the country already. So as we bounce around the country and hit these events, they'll get a. Uh, they're already on the mailing list as they subscribe. They get the discount code from Tom for uh, the store there, and then they'll get an invite whenever we have an event. So if we do ten events a year, they'll get ten invites, and if they can get to it, then. The gate's open to them. So There you go, guys. All the more reason why you need to become a lifetime member of Antirus Alliance. AntirusAlliance.com. There baby. you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for taking the time to be on. And, uh, man, I wish I could be there in Montana. Uh, just next year, Marty. Just didn't, didn't work out. Yeah, next year. Next year. Hey, we need to start planning right now for next year. June 23rd and 24th of 2018. So you've already got it scheduled. Yes, you have to, man. There's no way to not have things scheduled a year out because yeah, awesome. a year's not People long just, enough anymore. No, it's crazy. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta get things moving. So, all right, all right, all right, guys. Uh, we're gonna get Tom back on uh, in another episode, and we're gonna find out more about uh, his exciting career as a frog man, <laughs> <laughs> or not. Uh, you can talk about what you want to on this show, man. I love uh, it. We have a good time, Casey. Thank you, buddy. You bet. Thanks uh, again. We'll Always. Be in, we'll be in touch soon. All right, Marty, thank you. All right, guys, so if you're not members of Anterius Alliance yet, now's a great time to do it. Go ahead, go to their website, sign up for that, and uh, make sure you go to Talking Lead's website and sign up for one of those awesome Tactical Squirrel monthly subscription boxes. Let's get started with the show, guys. Welcome back to the Talking Lead coverage of NRA, and we are at the Eagle Imports booth, and I've got another table full of fine-looking young gentlemen here. Bearded ones, almost bearded over here. Working on it. Right? Yeah, you lost it, now you're getting it back. Yeah, I got to work on it. <laughs> so let's go around the table and introduce yourself. I'm Dylan Jennings. I do product management for handguns for Remington. Adam Garrison with High Threat Concealment, COO, and uh, one of you have the pleasure or displeasure, depending on the day, of being one of the owners. <laughs> <laughs> CJ, you guys know me. I'm president of Big Three and uh, the PR guy for Wolf Ammo. And he likes big, black, sweaty balls. Big, big, black, sweaty, salty, salty, <laughs> swelly. Don't forget the salt. So, guys, this is the first day of the NRA meetings, and uh, we're almost done with it. It's almost a, a wrap day on day one. I'm just Any, glad you're letting me sit down. This anything great. exciting happened today at the, at the Remington booth? Uh, yeah, we got uh, new guns we're talking about, uh, new double stack 1911s, uh, a new polymer frame striker fired really? handgun. Double yep. stack 1911s? I love double stack 1911s. Let's talk about those. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, these are essentially, uh, you know, pair of rebrands um, in, in many ways. Um, they're two different types, limited and tactical. The limited is our competition models, um, and they are double stacks in 9, 40, and 45. Okay. Uh, the 9's in 19 plus 1 capacity. The 40 is 18, and the 45 is 15. I love you guys. You're not you're not afraid of the 40. No, absolutely not. So 40's not going away. That's what I try to tell people. 40 we, we is do. not going away. Pink is the 40's not going away. Exactly. Yeah, uh, <laughs> the 40 is not going away. <laughs> yeah, well, You'll be making a PD-10 in 40. You know, I, 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 I seem to look at, uh, you know, I just think by the cost of ammunition and the way that the stuff is going, and it may not 
completely go away, but it's definitely going to be limited. Well, it's a competition <laughs> gun, right? So in USPSA, you get uh, you know major major uh, power factor by yeah. shooting 40, so you don't have to. Sh- you can get the capacity, and you don't have the extra recoil, so it's a good balance, right? Yeah, I think the competition is is really keeping it alive with mm-hmm. you know, advancement in you know, just the technology with what we're getting out of nine millimeter loads. Mm-hmm. This more, I think you're going to see. Law enforcement and there's, government there's continue to go back still so to the many nine, millions but, of guns out there that shoot the 40. That's yeah, it's if not going away. Well, I'm not disagreeing <laughs> with you guys. I'm just saying you're wrong. <laughs> okay. If you're selling 40s right now, it's in the competition area. That's yep, that's right. that's who's using it right now. Yep. And, unless I'm buying them, <laughs> then you're selling them to me. <laughs> unless you're getting uh, LE trade in Glocks and throwing a nine mil barrel. That's nine, it. Yeah, nine yeah. mil barrel in it. Exactly, right. buying an aftermarket barrel for your 40. Uh, so the double that. stacks are, are doing great. Um, we have a Travis Tomasi uh, custom version, which is basically a replica of what our our uh, shooter uses, our team shooter, Travis Tomasi. He's a uh-huh. you know world-class shooter. He uses a 40 cal, and we, we essentially replicate his gun, and he test fires and inspects every, every one of those guns we release. And in the box is a little thank you with a, with a hand-signed thank you from him on, on every one we sell. And how many of those are you cranking out? Uh, we just started. We'll just start shipping those here soon. Yeah, hopefully thousands. That's, that's thousands. the hope. Fingers crossed, right? That's a lot of guns he's w- shooting. What's uh, MSRP going to be on? Uh, uh, Sixteen twenty-five on that one. Right on. All the bells and whistles, right? It's competition model. Set up right out of the box to go competition. Exactly. Yep. Very, and what are the sights you're putting on it? Uh, they're adjustable Novak sights, so okay. uh, fiber nice. optic, fiber optic front, adjustable rear. Very nice. Yeah, that's a great gun. Yeah. Um, and then the uh, tactical version that I mentioned, it's all in forty-five. We have single stack versions, but the double stack is probably going to be where most of the volume comes from. And that's, uh, you know, it's our rail gun. It's got great looking G10 grips. Um, it's, <laughs> they're going to do really well. What's the capacity on the double stack for the 45? Uh, 15 plus one. 15? So an extra round from one para launched it. And the nice thing is those magazines are, are para compatible. So if you have an old double stack para, okay. they'll work and you get an extra round. Very cool. Yeah, those the are big, good ones. The big thing yeah. I want to know is when is that double stack going to make the Call of Duty? <laughs> what, that's that's how you sell them, right? Once they're in Call of Duty, you're pretty much guaranteed for a couple of years, right? right? <laughs> and, and when they do, will they do the, the double stack version or will they do the single stack oh, version? Oh, of course they'll do the double stack, right? They better. Well, that's why that's why people still ask us at, over at Bushmaster for 6.8 ACRs and TAN, right? That's it. It was, on, it was on Call of Duty, so what can you do? Right. With a Trigicon RMR adapter. There you go. It's got, you know. <laughs> um, so the other guns uh, we're running out there, uh, brand new, uh, our first striker-fired polymer-framed 9mm um, full-size, the RP9. Uh, it is uh, an 18 plus 1 capacity, mm-hmm. so high capacity. It's got the uh, smallest grip circumference of a polymer-framed striker-fired gun, so it's it fits everybody's hands. Uh, it's got interchangeable back straps. Um, I, if you guys get a chance, swing down and take a look at it. The trigger is fantastic. Yeah. It's got a great, crisp, single-action trigger with a fantastic reset. You know, I don't. Should I had you bring it? Yeah, I just I asked CJ. Says it's radio. Do you need to bring guns, dummy? So well, yeah, I like to have props. CJ's fault. <laughs> uh, it's got a great reset. Um, uh, you know, tactile reset, pretty much audible. I don't run reset when I shoot, but you know, yeah. a lot of a lot of guys do. So you really got to have that in a, in a striker fired polymer frame. Um, and it's doing real well. It's launched it at Shot Show. Uh, we got a 45 that'll be coming out soon. So nine and 45. Nice. Um, and many more, many more guns to come. You know? and what's the price point on those? Uh, those are four eighty nine. Uh, so a fantastic price point. We've seen them on the wow. shelf. They generally run at about four thirty nine. Yeah. So it's a lot of gun for the money. That um, is awesome. Uh, PVD finish on the slide and barrel. So very durable gun. Um, two mags. It's a great, great purchase. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Some, something great you're going to be interested in, particular when well. we get to big three this year. Uh, yeah. We're going to have that there. Yeah. Tell them what we're going to have there. There's going to be something I'm going to try to bring everything um, if we can. Uh, just bring big, the whole kitchen, huh? Well, big, I, I do handguns, but Big 3 is a great place to just drop everything. Right? We'll have our new TAC-14 shotgun. We'll have a Barrett. Hopefully, we'll have a Barrett 50, or not a Barrett, but a Bushmaster 50 cal, the bolt-action 50 cal. Be shooting a car with it. We'll let you get first shot. Sweet. Yeah. We'll Done. bring the, the, bring the silencer. Done. The cy- Cyclops silencer. I think it's about... About yay Holy long. crap. Yeah, 14 inches or something crazy. Uh, <laughs> that'd be nice. Yeah, they're not that bad when you have to deal with them every day. So I, do, I get, do I get to shoot it from what's our, the furthest waypoint that we could do that from? How far away are we going to do that If you clear from? some brush, maybe you could start at the tower. That's like just yeah, clear just everybody off the road. Directions. Let me shoot it down the road. No, no, we have, no we have 2,300 yards. Ah, isn't so, it more exciting to shoot a car up close, though? Yeah. I mean, it's, it, not with a 50. 
Yeah, it is. <laughs> I CJ, CJ, usually, CJ usually brings a BMW out too. It's gonna I mean, have it's, it's gonna it's have classy. some explosive device in it anyway. When I hit it, it's gonna explode, right? No, no. We're, the first one we're just gonna run through the engine block so that oh, okay. every, so we can do that so people can see the damage and stuff. Do a ballistic that's review. Oh, that'll be before cool. Before we ever do that, that'll be very cool. And I have yeah. a I have a surplus Humvee armored windshield out there. We're gonna pump one through. Oh, sweet. We'll put a mannequin behind it, smile, and it's... <laughs> <laughs> That's just sadistic. Yeah, we'll use a watermelon for the head and see what's left of it. Uh, that would be the awesome. Gallagher. Yeah, the Gallagher. Yeah. So, no, Big so. 3 is a lot of fun. Uh, you, how many cars are you going to have to shoot up in October? Uh, we're going to have three. Three? should have uh, double the amount. Well, we got, uh, we're going to have three. We've got to double it every year. Well, we're going to have three that we're going to shoot in October. Four if you want to use your rental. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Use the lead sled. Let's get the full insurance. <laughs> I was going to say, lead Mar- sled Mario maybe. always gets the full insurance. He'll be good. Yeah. Just I tow know. it back. I don't I know how you pay for the insurance at an event like that. I can't imagine. I mean, we'll be shooting cars with uh, a line of about 40 people all lined up, uh, you know, shoulder to shoulder. It'd be totally you, safe. You weren't there like Dumping the. Dumping mags. You weren't there like the, the second year we did it, the first year that we blew a car up. We put so much tannerite in it that the windshield, and we were like 75 yards away. Oh, yeah. The windshield came out and flew over top of the firing line about three <laughs> foot up, about three foot over everybody's head because our first berm is where the suppressor range is at now. Yeah. Wow. So we were shooting We were shooting about where the entrance point is now. So about 75 yards, the windshield came out and hit the roof of the green building behind us. <laughs> so you know what? This is, this is recordable evidence for your insurance company later on when they ask you about it. Insurance. Yeah. It's insurance. They don't listen to my show. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have no insurance companies that listen to the show. <laughs> so I, I did want to talk about one more gun, if you guys don't beat me up too much about no, it. No, absolutely. Um, so the R51. Now, before you start on yeah, that. Yeah, sure. You know, a lot of people beat people up about that gun. But you guys went to steps above, above and beyond to do that. I mean, a buddy of mine had the R51. They had a problem with it. They, they sent it back, you know, gave him an apology letter, mm-hmm. brought the gun back replace the gun before anybody else got their guns, fixing the problems and everything else. You know, Remington didn't get to be around for 200 years for selling crap. Oh, yeah. You yeah. know, well, so, so that's my side of the 51. So yeah. everybody's got to have a hiccup every now and yeah, again, Yeah, right? that's the thing. And, you know, the gun, we didn't have a recall. A lot of people think we had a recall. We actually had a, a volunteer buyback. We never had a safety issue. We just we recognized that we didn't put out a, a gun that was right. We yeah. had some quality problems, and, you know, we gave everybody that had one the three options. You know, we'll pay it. We'll pay you what well, you paid for what it outright, yeah. yep. um, we'll, or we'll send you a 1911, which is about $400 more, Shh. or if you'd like, and this is the one that, that option. Yeah, yeah, no kidding. Well, you'd be surprised. Most of the consumers asked the, for the third option, which was, we'll hold your gun, and when we, re, when we relaunch the R51, we'll send you a new one plus a bunch of goodies. So the Extra majority bags. of the people yeah. did that. We sent them, uh, bef- it was about... About three months before we launched the gun to consumers, right. we sent all of the guns for those who had asked for that service. We sent them a, a, a brand new R51, a Pelican case, two additional mags, so four mags, and an apology, a written, signed apology letter from the CEO. Yeah, you know, we recognized we made a mistake and we we wanted to make it right, and that's what we did. I'd have taken the 1911. Yeah, I think <laughs> I would have too. In a heartbeat. Well, it's yeah. it definitely because there's no guarantee more value. you were going to come out with another one. But God, I was surprised at how many people had the patience to wait, and a lot of them just kept them. There's a I lot. Mean, still there good. had to be the decision to abandon the whole the whole program, right? No, we we always we always knew Did that, that never... we had to get that gun right. Okay. Right. If we here's the thing, if we were gonna if we were gonna be a name in handguns, we had to launch R51 right. We really did. So. That's what we did. We launched it. Um, it's been doing well. Um, so it's back out now. It's back out. We lo- when we when we relaunched, like I said, the consumers that wanted to wait got theirs first, and right. then we shipped uh, the rest of them. Guns running great. We did some uh, some uh, changes to the extractor, uh, did some changes to the uh, the finish and and um, the sights and stuff. Mm-hmm. The, some of the quality issues that we ran into, yeah. and just put it back out there. Okay. I think it's a great gun. It's a and unique gun. How long has it been out now? Uh, it's been a, uh, about a year now. Okay. Yep. So a year, and what's the consensus? I mean, what are people saying about it? You know, people like what it. Are you, what I are you hearing from people? I, 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 ever, I ran into two people today. It's a good story. Two, two uh, guys came in today to show me their their R fifty one that they carry, and the apps. They said they absolutely love it. Uh, it is a, uh, it's a very unique firearm. Are you familiar with the Pedersen block system and how it functions? Describe it first, our listeners. Yeah. So, so John Pedersen is the uh, designer for it, right? And um, Basically, the way it works is, as opposed to a tilting barrel, right, where you're, all of the energy when you shoot is imparted into the slide, mm-hmm. and the barrel just drops out of the way for it to complete the cycle. Right. Right. Uh, the R51 has a, um, uh, a fixed barrel with the recoil spring around it, 
So that's got a super low bore axis, and where the energy is imparted into is like a is in a breech block. So that sits behind the barrel, and when you fire that round, it it sends the breech block back. It gets picked up by the slide and sent back. So hmm. so it's a very unique operating system. Um, I like it. I, th- I think it's a fantastic gun. And what that what all those things equate to for the user is about 25 percent less muzzle climb. So okay. you know you can get back on target a lot faster. Yeah. Recoil is considerably less. It's a fun gun to shoot. Interesting. Yeah. Are there any other firearms you know, out there, at least on the market now, that are employing you know, that recoil operating system? Some that are similar, but not okay. the same. Um, there's a uh, there's a Beretta gun that's that's uh, you know something yeah. similar, not a yeah. not a traditional tilting barrel system. But uh, we were just talking earlier. Um, Grand Power has a uh, rotating the barrel. Rotating, right. the rotating yeah. barrel. The rotating yeah. barrel. Where I you think get that's no, great. You know, you don't get the the don't barrel. get the camming action. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's great when manufacturers think of something outside the box and put something innovation. out there. Innovation. I love unique, it, man. Yep. I love it, innovation. A lot of the same out there, you know, and when you see something unique in the market, it's I think it's very cool. Right. We need well, that it has stuff. a lot of a lot of potential too for you know running suppressed as as well. I mean the biggest you know the, the biggest obstacle to reliability in running a suppressed pistol is you know, you're depending on a booster, a Nielsen mm-hmm. device there to take some of the weight off of that modified browning style action you know, with the barrel lifting and and when you've got a barrel with a rotating action or, exactly. you know, or with a fixed barrel, fixed it barrel. makes things a yeah. lot simpler. I agree. And we're working on that right now, right? You, seeing how, how it runs, how the R51 runs with a, you know, a threaded barrel and a disengaged Nielsen device. Right. Um, I'm pretty excited about that. That's that did. That would be cool. Yeah. Aside from how cool it is to run, the gun just with a silencer just looks sexy. Yeah. Right. It's just, you got to stop by and check it out. Like okay. I said, I'm sorry I didn't bring props. Yeah. <laughs> next time, right? Yep. Yep. We'll, do, we'll get it right next time. Well, cool. So uh, that's a lot I mean, for you guys. A lot of new stuff going on. Much more to come. Yep. So can you give us a hint? What's coming? Uh, we got some. Uh... Nope. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> With I don't pistols, w- rifles. Here's here's what I'll say. Um, uh, we do have a, uh, if you get a chance, stop by and check out the TAC-14. It's the 870 with the, you know, the little grip, the little uh, pistol grip and the 14 uh, inch barrel. Oh, wow. Um, so, you know, standard off the shelf short barrel shotgun that you can essentially buy as a regular user without having to go through all the paperwork and whatnot. Nice. Um, but no, th- it, the reason I say no is, uh, you know, we have made some mistakes in the past about how we launch products. Sure. Right? We always, you know, we'll show up at SHOT Show or NRA in the past and say, look at this cool new gun. You got to get it. Buy 10 of them. And they buy 100. And then we don't ship it for six months or ever. Yeah. You know, it's a, or it's ever. A, the, the, uh, the, the gun industry is yeah. plagued with that kind of stuff. So yeah, we our, were just talking about oh, that. Sure. And, and uh, Avidity Arms and the process that they're going through with, you know, the launch of their PD-10. Yeah. And, uh, you know, what is and could is and should is, you know, kind of thing. Exactly. So the yeah. way we do it now is... Timing is everything. It has to be in stock. It has to be fully tested. And we have to have communicated with our customers first before it ever it comes out to a, uh, a show. And if it makes it to NRA or SHOT Show, that's a bonus. Right. Yeah. You, you know go. what I mean? Yeah. So I'd gotta, much rather the be product ready. be right than at the, at the right time. Yeah. You know? But you guys will be bringing lots of toys out the big three to play with. Though, we October. try to every year. When so we let's go. talk about big three uh, yeah. right quick, CJ. What's what's on the agenda this year? Uh, well, you know, what, as far as improvements to big three, there's going to be some changes to the range. We're going to widen the long range up. Uh, you know, we got our fixed tower, a 30 foot tower. We're going to widen it up so we got some more targets. And we're going to we're going to put a plethora of targets. That's more that's more than like four. Um, out at the 600-yard line. So a lot of the riders and stuff that go out there can uh, can go ahead and uh, a lot of the riders can go ahead and get there. We're, we're taking a picture if you guys are wondering what the, what the slow point is. Marty's got to get his love me picture. That's the reason for the dead air, right? Waiting for CJ to get up on the mic. CJ's on the mic. <laughs> on the mic hard. Uh, so we're gonna wa- we're gonna widen the range, you know, at the 600 yard line and put some more targets out there to make it more usable, cool. yeah. so you can actually see that. We got a couple of targets that we're actually modifying ourselves uh, to put out there to show more target signatures. Uh, we're gonna go with three cars this year. We're sitting a we're building a special dark room. Um, oh, that's cool. For one of the laser companies to come out, or if you even have lasers on the, any of the Remingtons, they can use the, the dark room. You got anybody? Thermals? Uh, you know, we we've, we've been plagued with be trying great. to get we've been plagued with trying to get optics Some companies down shooting. there. Uh, we should have, you know, Vortex. If you're listening, uh, 
you know, we've, we've been trying Vortex. to get we've been trying to get Vortex to come for a while. Are they scheduled? Um, so we're so we're we've been plagued with Optics Company, but most companies, you know, they team up with them. Um, yeah. EOTech will be coming this year. Nice. So we'll have them down and a few other things. Uh, we're going to limit our machine gun shoot until after the daily fire is already over with. Uh-huh. We'll move them up there just to keep from the chaos and stuff at the range. Right. We've closed it down to where we do a 1530 now. So we give the entire range complex, except for the suppressor range, it goes quiet for 30 minutes. Uh, and it gives, and it gives uh, the writers and people sure. time to talk and, you know, the people that are on the fire line all day yeah. for the years to rest. Without having to scream above. Yeah. Scream above. You yeah. know, and we can open it up for video work, so we can do that. We're opening up more space inside of the uh, conference room for companies to actually do a display. Um, and we got new companies coming in. I mean, Troy's coming in this time. Oh, cool! Um, so we have a couple, t- a couple of new companies coming down that are going to be showing their products and stuff out there. Okay. So it's, I want to say it's going to be the best NRA, or not the best NRA, but the best big three. But the be- the best NRA announcement is what's happening at Big Three. It's yeah, pretty clear that you, you, you try to improve this event every time you have it, and it's it's it gets better well, every can, single every time. time. Well, I can remember when we were shooting into trash bags full of dirt. <laughs> standing in a palmetto field. Um, I mean, we're upgrading the power system. We're going with uh, 14, Damn. 14 280 volt panels, running them in uh, 35 watt or uh, 35 amp uh, golf cart batteries. So we're going to be doing that for the for the power supply and everything else. So we'll be running that all off of it. Of course, all the ranges are lit at night and all of that. So Sweet. we'll require uh, less time on generator use and. Mm. I guess the biggest announcement is, is uh, you know, we have two restrooms there, and we bring in Porter, Porter Johns. And stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's where the studio's set up, right? Porter the shitters. <laughs> Porter Johns and stuff like that. Well, actually, we have three restrooms. Uh, the big change is, is that we're building a, a guest house, the first green building. Just for me? First green building Thanks, is man. turning oh, into man, a... That's awesome. How nice oh, Just for the turn into, talking let show. Turning into a, a guest house slash bar. Bar? And the, uh, Perfect. And then the... Uh, Back between the rifle range and the briefing hall, we're actually going to build a four toilet bathroom, Bam. an actual an actual concrete pad. You had me at bar. Porcelain. You had me at four shooters. <laughs> well, the, the bar is going to be shooters, no the bar is going to be set up nice. I mean, it's going to be set up like if you go into a, a BJ's or someplace like that. I mean, the liquor, the, the whole wall full of liquor and everything. So it'll be set up like a, a guest house with a liquor. We're not going to want to leave. It'll have a liquor wall and a gun wall, and it'll have a it'll have a, a, a full size mattress upstairs in the bedroom. Nice, just, just one mattress. Everybody's got it. Got TV, one one lots, mattress, of, lots of little spoons. One mattress. That's it. You got TV, right so we watch the day's events. On the- I'm, I'm going to have the uh, the big 70 inch uh, 4K put up on the wall, hooked up with Call of Duty, and also running. Call of Duty. <laughs> also going to be running. Also going to be running it off a uh, uh, Dish Network. So we can get the Playboy channel we get and everything some, else. Get some, oh, the baby channels. So we can get the so we can get some good porn going some up good, on good it. Porn. <laughs> porn and booze. Well, the, it's good fingers news, crossed, man. right? Yeah. Gotta, oh, I'm down with remember, that. hope is not a plan. So you a, just got to work <laughs> on it. Right? I've got a lot of got a lot of crow that I've got to eat and uh oh and a lot of backstepping. But yeah, I think I think whatever we'll have we can do to help with that to get yeah. them there. Yeah. Well, I imagine well, their their hot habanero sauce is probably a big reason for four shitters instead of two. <laughs> I, I, no I hope those four shitters can take a punch. And I hope you're gonna <laughs> rowdy crew. I hope you're gonna get like some Charmin or something like that in there instead of that that you didn't John like the, Wayne you didn't like toilet that, paper you got. You didn't like that eighty grade sandpaper. <laughs> 80 <we had>. grade. <laughs> <laughs> Used the belt sander paper that was right? extra left over. Yeah, the bulk <laughs> sander paper, the quarter ply stuff. Yeah, yeah. I'm a, I'm a big fan of. Uh, I, I would. I personally would keep baby wipes back there just because I, I like I think I'm just going to bring, I'm right. just going to, everybody bring a big thing of Charmin or something like that with you. <laughs> Make that a requirement. <laughs> and wet wipes. Yeah. And BYOT, wet wipes. right? Yeah. <laughs> bring your own TP. <laughs> yeah, so it's, I mean, we get, we've done a lot of improvement. Well, it's good, man. It's going to be, it's going to be awesome. I'm looking forward to it. Is your dark room, are you going to be able to shoot in that room or is it yes. just, oh, great, yes, great. Yes, we are doing, um, we are, it's going to be 40 foot. It's going to be 40 foot. 30 of the uh, the first 10 foot of it will be open, mm-hmm. so you can come in and see what you're doing. But the actual impact area down range, which will be 30 foot from that, will actually be dark. And you'll actually be shooting into an impact berm. That would be and awesome. It'll be totally yeah. dark except for the holes that you shoot through the canvas, <laughs> uh, which you'll be able to see. Oops. But we'll, we'll patch those with tape uh, during the intermission. You know, I got to, get those stickers and film targets. Yeah. So cars to shoot. Um you know, we, we're going to have a... Big a, guns to shoot. We're going to have a, a new company there that's uh, 
going to be importing some stuff. We're not ready to make the announcement yet. They're actually going to okay. they're actually going to be importing guns into the U.S. and then to make Teasing. them and to make them compliant. They're actually going to make the other parts using the Warsaw Pact equipment um, to go ahead and you know and uh, basically set up a little foundry and stuff to so the guns are a hundred percent natural from the company that they're coming from. Are they going to give us a, nice. a demonstration? Uh, there'll be there'll be a lot of stuff to build go with one, it. Build I will one on site. I will say that we are in the process of trying to procure uh, a Soviet BMD oh, uh, be cool. tracked vehicle to be able to have out on the range to nice. fire from and also use for our display. So there's some raise s- hell, reset <laughs> targets without having to go cold and. Yeah, know. I mean it's a well we're gonna have a we're gonna have a 50 cow out there. So, right. Yeah. So probably not so much the. The BMD cow with the incendiary round and well, you don't need that with the, the BMDs. They were they were lightweight to swim and they were air droppable. Uh, it's interesting story. <laughs> the Russians, you know, everybody talks about how it, it sucks to be a paratrooper in America, and if you if you're a paratrooper in America, for instance, you're in the 82nd because we're really the only airborne division. Um, sorry about, here we go. Sorry about here that. Sorry about that 173rd. Um, <laughs> long story short. You know, if if you're thinking that it's the greatest thing ever, then you obviously have never did a did a full combat jump with uh, five or six C-130s in a row. Uh, because uh, if you have, you'll know that it sucks. <laughs> Track up, vehicle, that's awesome. What's up, man? How you? Hey, are they coming? You know, ca- you know, I, I've been trying to get Caltech. They were there once, and uh, we're, Chad Enos, Caltech. We're working in the house. We're working. We're working hard to get Chad back up there and everything else, and more importantly, we're working hard to get Chad's escort back up there. Oh yeah, did you, uh, did you tell him about the new shitters? Oh, we're Might putting, in, there you go. That's the putting in putting in new shitters. Four stalls. Four stalls. Sweet. Sweet. Four stalls. Four. We're having them set up there with uh, Charmin. So it's like one of them, like, uh, like I can identify as whatever I want. <laughs> yeah, we we, I think we all, have to have four. I think all Biffy's are one, one for each gender. <laughs> aren't, aren't all Biffy's gender neutral? I think. <laughs> <laughs> So we're so we're gonna have four set up on it. I'll let you get back to it. I'll let you get back to it. Okay. <laughs> Speaking to the mic. <laughs> See you, buddy. It's gonna happen this October, right? So it's gonna be the fourth, fifth, and sixth of October. Fourth, fifth, and sixth. You know, and uh, this year, one of the big things that we want to do this year is, is you know, we've been we've been working toward, and I just talked to, uh, I just talked to the pirate. Uh, so Captain Ron. Captain Ron. So, <laughs> you know. I want you to stay on top of him about, a great a, about getting him to come down there. And while we have our captive audience there this year, uh, sort of talk to some of the companies about doing some more support for us. Okay. Of course, of course, uh, one of the things that you missed was the companies and stuff are starting to bring stuff as far as giveaways and stuff down there. Okay. Um, sort of want to want to look at um, doing some stuff, not particularly for this part, but we're going to be hitting some companies up and start doing a car shoot where we're going to have. Uh, people come in and basically pay for a magazine and go out and get to shoot the car, and then all of that money is going to go to Captain Ron um, so that we can go ahead and, and help our uh, disabled soldiers and stuff. And in case you, you know, uh, yeah. Dylan is a, is a, he's an E7 in the Army right now. He's in the reserves and everything else, and he's combat arms. He's right infantry, on. so there's really nothing to bash on him. <laughs> uh, well, I, it's guards, so there's plenty of stuff to bash on me if you're in the military, if you're in the army, so, so he's, trust you know, me, I get it all the time. So he's active, or not active duty, but he still gets he still gets activated to go do deployments and stuff like that. So not only, you know, is he working with Remington, you know, to, to help us with our farms and stuff like that, he's still out there actively defending the country. Well, uh, we're active sheepdogs. Well, we're setting, back, service. we're setting back here enjoying the benefits of it, you know, so... Right. Um, that's one of the other things about Remington, you know, that these guys have been hiring vets and, and been hiring uh, a lot of reserves and guards and stuff like that to come to work for them. Oh, it's a, it's so, a great place to work if you're, if you're a veteran or currently serving. It really is. This he just awesome. told me after he had to get permission from two people to come talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you ever worked at a corporate environment before, but uh, right. everybody, everybody's got a boss. You <laughs> had to get signed off on to come over, huh? Yeah, there you go. They're like, what's this talking lead? I don't know if that's a good idea. You know, I'm not yeah. mad at him. I know how that works, but uh, oh yeah, don't yeah. feel bad, Dylan. I'm getting text messages now. Apparently, I need permission to. Oh yeah, they calling you back to the booth. Legal teams like, like uh, what are you doing? We're <laughs> it's a no We want a copy of that before it gets right. posted. One of, one of the things that I want to do here before I, before I forget is, you know, I want to thank uh, all of the companies and and Marty and and uh, everyone else for the support and stuff they gave me when my son had his motorcycle wreck. For for you guys that didn't know, Max. Uh, Max had a car turn in front of him. He's 17. He'd been riding a motorcycle for a couple of years. 
uh, but he hit the card about 60 miles an hour on the side. Um, he had a, see the picks. He had a, str- he had a, speed, saw, and, yeah. Yeah. a speed and streaked helmet on, which really saved his life. It, it did not, it never collapsed or anything else. It's got a lot of scarring and stuff, a full place helmet. Um, it did rotate down and hit his jaw, mm. broke his jaw in two places. He had three vertebrae in his neck broke, a couple ribs, his pelvic, both hands were broke, and uh, and his and his uh, private area there was was black as a chunk of coal there for a pretty good while. Oh, interesting. When, when was this? Uh, Is that a bad it, thing? It happened March. The, yeah, it happened January the thirty first. This January. Yeah. So he was. Uh, so. That's we canceled the big three for March. So he was he was in a coma for for two weeks, knocked out, and then we had to put him back in a medical coma uh, because he he was having problem breathing. How's he doing now? Yeah. He's doing good. We don't know what use he's going to have out of his right arm yet, um, but he's he's doing really well. The rehab on that, great. Right, and, and um, we don't know. If, like I said, I don't. We don't know if it's going to be permanent or not. But one of the one of the things uh, about this is, you know, for, for I know that you know that I know that you know that, and I'm not for sure about you, Marty. I'm not real sure on your on your past, but I know Captain Ron knows this. The uh, once you have a, an experience like that, you know, like. You know, he died three times. They you know, they revived him all three times. But mm-hmm. it's you have a life changing event. In the military, we see it all the time. You have guys who go outside the wire, and something really happens, and he turns into the best dude in the world and looks at everything that way, or he's the biggest piece of shit. And you Take on get a new perspective. Yeah. Huh? Um, yeah. So Max come out with a, a brand new perspective of, of everything that was happening and everything else, and the way he looks at life. He's he's very uh, very thankful now and very polite and everything else. So. I'm a uh, firm believer that everything happens for a reason, mm-hmm. right? Um, mm-hmm. So it's it was, uh, you know, it, it was just one of those events that, you know, the big three. I would have liked for it to go on, and, and we probably could have could have still pulled it off and everything else. But yeah, that, there was no need. It, it that wasn't a lot. That wasn't everybody a need. understood what was going yeah. on. It, it, it wasn't a need for that. Um, Family's well, first. Well, glad to hear that he's he's recouping. <laughs> he's he's doing know? a lot better I mean, and stuff, and uh, he'll be out at the big three this year to see a couple of people. For him to survive that kind of a Absolutely. an accident, I mean, I, I mean that's a miracle in and of itself. It, it it is when you really look at the accident and you know the speed. When you hear people in motorcycle accidents. It's usually all. I've never seen funeral, anybody you know? survive an accident no. like that before. It's a high mortality rate for sure. That's scary stuff. Right. So he's very fortunate. Yeah, we you know we're we're lucky to have him back and everything else. Interesting story. And since his uh, girlfriend or her parents aren't going to listen to the radio show, okay, <laughs> he's he's like he comes to me. and He goes, Dad, you know we we're father son. You know he's seventeen now, and we talk about all the stuff that his mom. He will talk to his mom about. You know he's like, Dad, you know I'm really worried about down there. And I said, I said, Do you worry about your your junk? And he's like, Yeah. yeah. He junk. said, He said, You know. I'm sure he appreciates that you're talking about this on a is podcast. Is he still black? He's not. Is that what he's worried about? Is it still black? <laughs> You should mark it. It's that. like yeah. careful what you wish for. <laughs> careful so, uh, what you wish for. <laughs> so he was he was wondering about his he's worried about his junk work. And, you know, it's it, it was humorous to me. So I told him I said, hey, uh, I said you know, he's got a little girl that he's seeing. I said, hey, and sh- and, and I got to give her a hand too. The whole time he was at the hospital, she was by his bedside. She came and saw him every day, uh, Good even for her. even it's when he was girl. in the coma and everything. So I said, uh, I said next time one of the nurses come in here whatever as they get ready to wash i said have her grab your junk and see if it still works because dad i can't do that and i said well next time next time your friend comes up here have your her friend have her have her go ahead and grab it you know and, and give it a couple of wax and make sure you still feel it he goes he goes well i can't do that because mom's in here all the time so so i had to grab his i had to grab his mom and you know this to this point it's like three and a, yeah. three and a half four weeks in the hospital you know so I take her outside of the room and run in distraction. He had his friend in there with him and everything else, and so we closed the door. Or I closed the door. She goes, "We closed the door." So I, said, oh, you know, just let him talk a little bit. So we came back in a little bit later, and I'm like, uh, "His mom, his mom is in the big his smile. mom is in the bathroom." And I said, "Well, how's he going? I'm going to be just fine." <laughs> <laughs> and I thought to myself. That's my boy. That's my boy. <laughs> Box Good checked. Man. He said, "I want to keep some of that swelling, though." <laughs> <laughs> Don't let them take all the <laughs> swelling away. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so well, that's, that's good. That's, that's a good one story. of the you know the few laughs that we had on the whole thing, you know. But it's did know, mom the, ever find out about it? I don't know if she did or not. You know, she knows that story. I'm pretty sure that that her mom didn't find out about it because she's still able to talk to him. So. Do uh, either of them listen to the podcast? No, no they don't either. listen to my show. No, I don't <laughs> listen to the podcast. <laughs> 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 I mean, I try. I, when I when I when I when something pops up and says Big Three was mentioned, I was like, oh shit, let me hurry up and get on it. You're, think, on, you're on this week's episode. 
I'll that's playing to, right now that it, people are listening to. I'm gonna yeah. have to. I'm gonna have to get onto it unless I try really hard. But I have the attention span of a yeah, of a goldfish. <laughs> yeah, but Matt. So, so it's really. <laughs> as you guys could tell I've I've hit like 12 subjects here in like eight seconds. Oh, I, I could so. get this into like three shows. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> the Max Hara show, yeah. Yeah. So we have it set up with that. But well, we better cut it short. I know you guys got to get back to your booth. Uh, sure. Hey, but thanks for joining us. Yeah, it was Pleasure great. Absolutely. You. Big thing. So we'll see you at Big Three. See big you there. Thing, big thing to take out of this is the Big Three is going to be great this year. Yes. We're gonna we're gonna make it great again. It's going to be huge. It's, gonna, it's always been great. It's going to be huge. We're going to win bigly. Huge. It's going to be huge. huge. We're going to win bigly. And I and you know what I, I I I love the Big Three. Yes, you know, we I, do too. It's it's a it's a great event. It's going to get bigger. We we want to change industry with this, and we're thinking about maybe expanding a little bit, hmm. maybe up into your area. Ah, like making it a road show. Well, not making it a road show. Get a place up there and, and get a facility and get it set up and, and have something set up maybe up in that area. Okay, right. more you shooters, know, uh, more mattresses. You know, a, you know a smoking yeah. hot redhead that we could get to help us out. No. Nope. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> yeah, I don't know where there's any blondes to help us either. So uh, I th- I'm sure we could find them up there. They're, well, you, they're pretty plentiful in uh, the Nashville. I think area. the term is called mud cricket. Yeah. Mud cricket. <laughs> it's obvious that you know you and Swell have you know, put your heart and soul into it no. over these years. Well, let's not it, let's it not shows. give Swell too much credit. No. Well, you know he's not here, so we got to pick on him. Yeah, let's not give him too Bill much Schwell. credit. Swell's good at Swell's good at doing all the, you know, well, behind the scenes and well, you know, he was in the Air Force for a long time and had a great career, and then he came out with his medical issues and they had to put him out, uh, which he's still getting treated for, and so, you know, he does what he can do with it. So he's a little cranky and stuff, and and the big three, those three days that we're out there are just really taxing on him. Yeah, they and are. it takes him it takes him about a month to recover from that. Yeah, and I mean he's you know, still recovering from surgery. You know? Yeah, talk about a labor of love. Man. Well, it's you know it, it it's it's uh, therapeutic to him. Yep. So it helps he him out a lot his. that way. He, he helps me with what I'm doing and everything else. Oh, and <laughs> you've got to you've got to talk to Unique. Unique ARs. Unique the Unique designs that are doing the cool handguards. Yeah, they yeah, made me one. The handguards. They did. Yeah. Yeah. They made it. it's the, the lead head edition. It's badass, man. You got to see it. I saw the lead head. I was going to have a lead head on mine. Okay. Well, you can still you can still do that. Yeah. I can still have a lead head. You can put lead head on there. Yeah. And can I have it red? You have a redhead, lead. red leadhead, <laughs> red leadhead. You have a purple one. <laughs> I, 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 I do have a purple one. Yeah. Thank you. Thank purple you helmeted warrior love. All right, guys, we're out of here. Awesome. It's been great. Thank you very much. Appreciate yep. you being on. Yep. Remington, check them out. Website, just Google yep. Remington. And Remington.com and like us on Facebook, right? Check them out, Remington. High Threat Concealment, we're going to be there Sunday, That's all day. Right, guys, in the booth, so broadcasting A lot all more of Adam to come. So oh. come on by if you're And I'm sure NRA. CJ will probably pop in again oh, throughout yeah. the week. Yeah, I'm going to come in and I'm going to talk a little bit about 300 Blackout coming to the market inexpensive. Okay. Uh-oh. That's something you may want to know about. Oh, I wanted to tell you, yeah. uh, my first NRA was uh, in Houston four years yep. ago. Yeah. I did the Wall of Guns. I won the Wall of Guns. Did you really? Man? I did. Shit. No way. Yep. One wall get? of guns. I got a, a Ruger. It was a three fifty seven revolver. I can't remember which one it was. Um, and I got the Remington R1. You got the R1? Got the R1. Nice. And that was, uh, and it was one of the nicest 1911s that I'd ever had. The trigger on that thing was really nice. I People loved it. People are always very pleasantly surprised with For our the 1911s. the price of that thing and the quality of the Remington R1, it's unbelievable. I'm a huge fan. Yeah, it's great. But I want to check out the double stacks now. Yeah, yeah come on by. Absolutely. Yeah, I don't like 1911s. <laughs> All right, on that, no, on that note, let's nothing, start. Nothing personal. I just, <laughs> I just don't like 1911s. And we'll be back later. <laughs> All right, guys, we are back at the 2017 NRA annual meeting, NARAM, also affectionately known as, at the High Threat Concealment Booth, Booth 2211. And uh, we got our good buddies. We like shooting in the house. What? What, what, Sean, Aaron, and Jeremy, and I'm not going to say Jeremy's last name. <laughs> I've never seen your last name before. It's Pazdarach. No, no, that no, is not dude, it's that. Pazdarach? Paz, pa, he paused Iraq? No, Pazderic. Pazderic. Oh. Pazderic? Man, I've been saying it wrong for uh, like four uh, years now. Unless you're in, unless you're in Croatia, and then it's uh, 
Pozderac. Pozderac. Is that Polish? Yeah, uh, Croatian. <laughs> <laughs> or they Croatian. Speak, they speak po- Polish and uh, Croatian. <laughs> <laughs> Marty's good at math. Yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> I don't spell so good. I'm not a mathologist, but, uh, but I am an archaeologist. I knew one once. Somebody's really high there. Is, uh, it, is it me? No. Is it me? Is it me? It's that one. Of course, <laughs> the tallest one. Of, the of course, That's I could just talk from back here. So, Marty, I don't want to. No, I don't want to. I don't want to take over or anything. But I'm looking at your recorder, and it's not recording. So I kind of feel like, uh, like this is like fake. Yeah, this yeah. is fake news. Fake news. Jeremy sees it over here. It's yeah, recording. This, this one's okay. Uh, this one's working. My battery died on my Roland <laughs> R05. I, I was just like, uh, <laughs> so are you going to start recording? Yeah. We're missing all this gold. Are dude. we getting punked here? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Marty's like, so, okay, thanks for stopping by. We like shooting. We uh, like shooting. Good to see you. So we just had uh, Jonathan on the show and uh, Adam and, uh, and Ebbs. Ebbs. The yep. Gun Collective boys. Right. And we're talking a little bit about the panel. That, that happened yesterday. I, I heard, heard it was I, awesome. I heard it was awesome, too. I thought you guys were there. Yeah, well, Sean was up on the panel, but he didn't really show up, if you know what I mean. Oh, I showed up. I was the <laughs> joke master. The, the joke roast, master. I was the roast master. Uh, Ebbs. I picked, You're the comic relief. I picked on Ebbs the entire time. <laughs> and his hair product. Yeah, and his hair product. The, yeah. co- the Cosmoline thing was a really good, a yeah. good joke. I so thought. what was your take on it? Oh, man, it was amazing. Uh, I heard it. the crowd was just phenomenal yeah they were it was packed house standing room only people just standing in the back That's for awesome. three plus i hate hours. i missed that yeah where were you uh, over there chained to the the microphone man yeah, yeah. i gotta tell you it Eagle was imports it was a success it so, was uh it really showed that new media is taking over and it was it was yeah. perfect yeah yeah they ain't already finally acknowledging so i think we're finally ready to move into that new millennium can you tell us what this podcast thing's all about Podcasting? Yeah, I've, I've heard of it, but I'm not familiar with it. Well, I, think, I think it's a fad. I don't think it's going to be here to I stay. Think, yeah. I, think, I think there's a guy that lives next to you that's got a great you know, podcast. And it's called We Like Shooting or something like that. I'll look it up. Oh, wait, that's you. I'll look it up. Is that on iTunes? Hey, I like your new shirt, man. That, that you looks like good. That? Yeah. American flag? Yeah. Is that new? Uh, it, Three years ago, yes, it was. Yeah, Three it, years ago? Okay. It, at one point, it was absolutely new. Yeah. It, it's funny because I saw it today, and I'm like, oh, that's a great shirt. He's like, yeah, it's my favorite. You're like, where'd you get that? Yeah, <laughs> right. I'm on the show. I've never seen it before. Yeah. You, so, didn't, you didn't give those to everybody. So, right? funny story. I actually screwed up the design, and there was two little white things from the stars up here. So, I just colored them in with a Sharpie, like, <laughs> when I got the shirt. <laughs> <laughs> so, it looked like it was bleach spots or yeah. something? Yeah. I was like, eh, whatever. Oh, well. No yeah. one noticed. Except right. now I brought it up. So you now get you get maximum effort with We Like Shooting. <laughs> exactly. It, it's yeah. called character. But no, the panel was awesome. The Gun Collective did a great job. And the NRA, uh, Jason, who was the NRA rep that was in charge of uh, putting it all together on the, on this side, he did a fantastic job. We're going to ha- get ready to have him on the show. Cool. Uh, which is great. Uh, he's in the me- media relations biz. So yeah, be good to have him on and talk about shooting sports and all the cool stuff. and new. <laughs> excuse me, new media. There's that cough again. I, didn't answer. I don't have a cough answer. button. So. I know. Oops. <laughs> well, I, never, I never use one anyways. It actually surprised me. I didn't even realize that it was coming. So Cancer. Maybe. <laughs> That's. A, he, he says he's on a diet. It's really the cancer. It's well, the yeah. cancer. He's dropped 80 yeah. pounds in like a month. He's like, oh, I was going to say, diet. man, you're looking svelte. You've been, you've been lifting and dieting and dieting. Take and care and do his arms look like he can lift anything? <laughs> Dude, I have a tricep. Look at that. <laughs> He's got some definition. He got a little horseshoe going there. Yeah. Look at kick it, kick that horseshoe, baby. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Look at Jeremy's flabbiness. Are we going to do? This? You can't see his with all the tattoos on it. Yeah, exactly. You know, it is a radio show, so you can't really see this. I know, but no, no one wants to see <laughs> this look, look, anyway. Look at the six-pack abs I got. <laughs> there you go. See? Aaron, right? Aaron, you got a thirty-six rack. <laughs> <laughs> I, got, I, got a keg, I got a keg down there. He's got a thirty-six double D kegger. <laughs> exactly, and Marty. What do you think about like the NRA kind of getting behind the panel and? Uh, no, I, I thought it was great, man. I didn't. I didn't realize that they were act. It was like an endorsed NRA endorsed thing. I thought it was just something that you guys were doing that you know. You, rented a room and and we're doing it so yeah i heard about it i was like this is kind of cool of comparing it to like a uh, a comic con kind of thing with like and i said you know chris hardwick as a yeah an example you get the moderator guy and then you'll have like the cast of um uh, i don't know what's a tv firefly show firefly or, yeah. yeah exactly yeah exactly you know and everybody's asking them questions is that how it went so everybody in the audience was just hitting you guys with yeah, so with they, questions about just anything, or yeah, it was, was it structured? Oh uh, yeah, you know what? They, here's what's cool about it. I'm, I'm going to kind of sell this out here. What was neat was it was live streamed, and they had a, a professional production crew just there 
you know, five different cameras mm -hmm. zapping between the two, between the five. They had people come up, ask questions. In between questions, they would do giveaways. So it was constantly something. Going and he said on. something like fifty thousand dollars in giveaways. Or oh, something. easily. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, it was wow. eleven it was rifles. Yeah. Uh, so many. Uh, suppressors, strip lowers, uh, an integrally suppressed savage. They just rifle. randomly picking people, or Russian everybody, white. Everybody got a ticket when they walked through the door. Oh, okay. And we read the tickets, and apparently, all the tickets I read, no one was actually there. Yeah, it was like they knew. You had to be there to win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, and uh, and uh, I actually had a ticket, and I didn't win. I was kind of. Uh, like, uh, Hunts on the panel, you Hunt, can't win. Hunts for Heroes was there, and um, they actually said. The guy walked up and he goes, is there any Purple Heart veterans in here? And nobody raised their hand. He goes, is there any injured LEO or first responders here? Nobody, nobody raised, their raised their hand. Their hand. <laughs> and he goes, is there any active duty military here? And one guy raised his, or two guys raised their hands. They're like, you, come here. <laughs> you are a winner. <laughs> yeah, it was, you're like, and everybody's looking for like what seemed like forever. And you're like, it was so cool. Wow, that's, that's actually, chirping. like, I guess that's good, but that's I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> right. I think that means that the military doesn't like new media. I was going to say, there's your demographics right there. Yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're going to focus on things that are not military or stra strategy or tactical related. Right. So, yeah. Actually, but like, non sheep I want I want more panels like that. I want I want panels for different shows. I want panels for different companies in that, in that type of setting. I think that would work a lot better at a show like this than a lot of what they do do. Right. You know, I think yeah. I, my only concern with that is if you get companies up there, they're going to catch more heat than they would uh, promotion. I want, I want that. Yeah, but do they? I, do they that's do why they know. don't do it. Right. Yeah, I don't want to go up there and get yelled at for like an that's hour. That's why Springfield, <laughs> yes. for instance, isn't going to have a panel no. like in 10 minutes. Uh, honestly, <laughs> I, I would love that. <laughs> I think they should be forced to. Yeah, that would be. You awesome. got some splaining to do, buddy. Exactly. Yeah, accountability. Why you not? Got some Trial by gladiator. But I mean, yeah. what what you know, you can get all the the feedback from like angry emails and everything. But it's a lot different when five hundred people fill a room and tell you exactly all the ways you're screwing up or what they want from your product. I mean, right. I'm the end user. I'm the person here. Yeah. I'm telling you. Yeah, I'm not talking to a marketing manager who's going to his boss, who's going to his boss, who's going to a CEO who's right. going to make the final decision. I'm not the, reading it in an article. Yeah. I'm, Getting it straight yeah. from the horses. I don't like this. Just go to their Facebook page right now, and every single comment on every <laughs> single post is just <laughs> <Did> hate, <laughs> vitriol, and yeah, it's 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 amazing. I'm surprised their booth is still up. Uh, yeah, I'm surprised anyone showed up for work today. Do honestly. you smell smoke? No, no. <laughs> Why did you, did you fart? No, it's just uh, like they're, they're burning down. Oh. Burning. <laughs> they're, yeah, they're getting burned. It's Jeremy. I just assumed it was something horrible. Yeah. Uh, it's, it smells like an electronics <laughs> fire. I don't. I don't really get along with technology. <laughs> So where's where's the uh, the good looking part of we like shooting? I'm right here, man. I'm, here. I'm right here. Yeah, we're all here. <laughs> you know how many people walked that up to me good. and said like we listen to the show all the time, and I didn't realize how handsome and sexy you are. I didn't realize you're an ugly mofo. What you actually don't realize is <laughs> it was actually no um, one. Right. Zero people did that actually. The, Zero. We actually have less facial hair than the one that's not here. <laughs> than the one that's not here. <laughs> Savage. <laughs> It, is that just because it receded off of his face all the way back his to head? his chest? Yeah, <laughs> I was talking about the chick. Oh, Ava. Yeah, we were talking, talking Ava. about her too. <laughs> yeah. No, she uh, she actually got really sick before we left. Went to the doctor a bunch of times and just wasn't good enough to come. So she didn't even make it out of here. Huh? Nope. Oh, no. Well, bless her heart. Hope yeah. she's okay. Bless yeah. her heart. <laughs> is that what you say to the special? Kids? That's what she's saying. Yeah. All right. Right. Oh, bless her. Right heart. before you get ready to say something bad about somebody. Exactly. You say, bless her heart. Well, exactly. I don't like to talk about idiot. people, but <laughs> <laughs> bless her heart. <laughs> exactly. Hey, we didn't see it's you at, at our uh, Firearms Radio Network listener meetup. I, I didn't know anything about it. Man, Are I you? didn't get an invite. You did. When was it? Uh, Friday night. What did I do Friday night? Not come drink with us. Yeah. That's what it was. Right. It was I would have. It was awesome. Man. You we, should uh, have. I would have. If we, I'd have known about I'm it. I'm kind of offended that you I didn't mean, know. I've got this thing. It's called a, a phone, and I get text messages. Do you? There's a new app uh, called Facebook. I don't know anything about that. Uh, yeah. Obviously. Right. That's, again, new Was media. it posted on? Oh, yeah. Like 100 oh. times. <laughs> and, and like Twitter. and. I invited my whole friends list. When I'm at events like this. I don't. I'm never in front of my computer. Right. Computer. There was the instant grams, and you know how reception is. You know, as far as getting stuff. Yeah. I, yeah. No, it was fun, man. We uh, rented uh, the upper floor of the park bar. We played. Yeah, a, we went there the other night. Yeah, we did a game show uh, where basically we had people come up, and uh, John Patton was there, and he would ask them trivia questions that were r ridiculously hard, and if they answered correctly, they got to spin one of those prize wheels. But but here's the problem. They just clicked. Yeah. Well, here's the problem. 
they would answer a question, somebody get it wrong, and they'd say, okay, it's multiple choice. So it would just be like, wrong, 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 correct answer, and then we'd still get shocked. Yeah, like, okay. they didn't just well, move I, on. I hadn't even got to the shock part yet. So they would shot, spin the prize wheel, and then it would land on a number. Well, we were all wearing dog shock collars, and no, that, that number corresponded. <laughs> Whose idea was that? Uh, mine. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah, I don't, you're, I, you're a lunatic. Dude. Yeah, so and then so we all got shocked really bad, and we the they went. So from, the audience gets to shock you, or who who's, who's doing the shocking? Yeah, whoever answered the question yeah. correctly got to shock got us. Got to shock yeah. you. And there was an all. Uh, there were two sections that were all four sections, and it, it landed on those way, way too, too, often. too often. Yeah, yeah. yeah so, so we got shocked, shocked a lot. everybody instead of just one individual. <laughs> and then we kept progressively going up, up higher yeah. with the the voltage, the, the intensity to the point. Did where it hurt? Yeah, I've never. I've well, never, I mean, it's, it's not. Really it's uncomfortable. So it, it started at uh, level one. Did they have one to fit your neck? I put it on my arm. Yeah. Oh, okay, I put one on my neck to test it, like put a, it a couple weeks ago. No. <laughs> On my neck, <laughs> right on the ball. And he's like, right on my dick. It was, uh, yeah, it's not unacceptable. It was so the only place the arms. collar would fit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that was a blast. Uh, Did you have a good turnout for that? Oh, man, it was packed. Yeah, it was great. And it was at the, the park bar. That's by that big Ferris wheel place. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. 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 And we, we had the entire upper floor. You're upstairs? Yeah. And the chicken fingers were really good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Buffet food. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we went the whole spread. It was yeah. great. It was great. Man. Good deal. Yeah, yeah, it was awesome. I'm sorry, I missed it. I, and then afterwards, I we uh, I went I around. Came. And afterwards, I, I went around with the shot callers and just shocked people randomly. In the, in just the for the hell of yeah, it. Yeah, just listeners that showed up. Yeah, it was great. So now your listener base has dropped by how many? Oh, the, about <laughs> three hundred attacks. Yeah. Yeah. We, 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 didn't, we didn't have a listener base to begin with. <laughs> <laughs> Literally dozens. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, I've got like you guys, and that it's a one, two, three listeners right now. So. Yeah. Oh, uh, the, the, I'm sorry. What'd you say? Yeah, this I wasn't is, listening. What? That's it. <laughs> yeah, about that. <laughs> Let me uh, let's go I, into that. Yeah. I, I thought we were gonna get some free You're stuff down from being to on two. here. You what, telling me what, I'm not? What's a podcast? <laughs> I got some stickers. Yeah, no. Woo, what am stickers. I gonna put them on? I'm gonna go put it Urinals. on Spring, I'm gonna put it on Springfield's booth. Oh <laughs> put it put it on the grip zone. And then nice. I'll be look, Marty supports Springfield. <laughs> <laughs> and then there went my last two listeners. <laughs> 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 but yeah. So you've been tied. To the desk, to the to the podcast table, the entire time again. Yes, sir. When are you going to have some fun? Well, I have fun at night. Do you? Yeah. Yeah. When he's alone, crying. Yeah. <laughs> using his tears for things that should not be used for. Yeah. You haven't been with us at all, so. I sit there staring at my phone, waiting for the text messages. They, where are they at? Where are they at? They're going to text me any minute now. No. Oh. Oh. They're going to no. invite me to go have a beer with them well, any get, minute get, now. Just tell me your phone number right now, and I'll uh, I'll text you. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, first you got to have my number, right? <laughs> I've got it. You, you all got my number. I don't have assholes. your number. I'll read it. Hold you on. You got my number? I don't have your number. Why don't you have my number? I, t- I told you. Tell me it right now. I'm funny. Are you? Hey, you want to hear a joke? Yeah. All right, so we are at the house last night. <laughs> nope. No, yeah, it's not an appropriate joke. Oh, okay. Yeah. Let's no. hear it. Let's hear a joke. Uh, no, I, no, it's not appropriate. Yeah, it's, it's definitely. For who? For uh, life. Anyone? Yeah. Ever that has existed? There's no females around. No, it's not. Hey, so, hey, man, how, how are things? <laughs> how are things? So, listen, listen. Are what? you guys set up? Are you been recording? You doing your podcast here? <laughs> no, we did. Uh, <laughs> so we, we did the Gun Collective panel. We did our event Friday did night. Did you do a, like a live feed while you were at the on the panel? Uh, so the whole thing was broadcast live with all the cameras. Did you do like a everything. Facebook or anything personal? We did a little bit, but kind of we're waiting for the, the big video from the Gun Collective because it'll be uh, well produced and nice and all that good stuff. Okay. But yeah, we have honestly we haven't been on the floor a whole lot. So you know, shot show we go around and we do a ton of booth interviews and things like that. But here at the NRA, it's kind of all about our listeners and and just kind of meeting up with people and saying hey and shaking hands and taking pictures and having fun. And you guys been set up anywhere? Or are you just walking around? Just walking around. Just walking around. NRA is a hundred percent where we just go to hang out and meet people who listen to the show and give us all the support and stuff like that. It's it's, it's hard to, you, you know this, you walk around the floor and people are like, hey, you are so-and-so, right? And you stop and you talk for 20 minutes and the next thing you know, you move again and it happens again. So you look at your watch and there's just no time to really yeah. talk to and get a good, no, know, get I don't a good know. interview in. It yeah. doesn't happen to me. I don't I don't know. You're just, it's because you're always just <laughs> sitting at this table. No, I know exactly what you're saying. No, people will come up to, you know, I'm recording and they'll wave and, you know, when I get done talking, I'll go over and shake yeah. their hand and. It's cool, yeah. I love it, man. It is. I it's love meeting time. the people that support the show, and that's that's what it's about, you know. Totally, yeah. I love it. Yep, same. It's uh, yeah. I love love the NRA show. Not a huge fan of Atlanta personally. 
I yeah, feel like I wasn't gonna go there, but I mean, it's okay. Like, I, I don't, I don't hate the people that live here. I just, it's just I, getting here and then getting out of here. Yeah, we stayed in Marietta actually. Once you're here, it's it's not bad. Yeah, yeah. The like the building's fine. Yeah, it's, yeah except it's been a little fine, hot. Yeah. It's been a little hot. It has been. Today it's like it's an ice box. Yeah, like, perfect. Yeah, I just perfect. I was just wondering yeah, why they get my, it right on the last day. Yeah. I think well, it's just. I think it's the same amount of AC, just less people. Is that what it is? I think that's what it is. Um, what do you want to talk about, Marty? We've been talking. Yeah, just talking. I, I just feel like there's no substance to this. It's like this is, this is perfect. You know what? Let, let's 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 go real. Well, that, that's that's the, that's talking lead, though. Let's get deep here, guys. No, it's, all, it's all talk, no substance. No, he's got tons of substance. <laughs> we brought our stupidity here, <laughs> and that's where the lack of content is. <laughs> that's where the lack of interest. But that's why it's just sitting around talking, shooting the shit. Yeah. Uh, I want to bring it down for a second, guys. Is, is oh, there okay, anything you want to ask of me? Yes. Yeah, yeah. There's a question I have for you. Okay, I've got all, all the right. questions. Shoot. All right. Shoot, uh, Aaron. All right. So, new media. NRA, we're at NRA AM, right now. Naram, Naram, Naram. What do you think about the direction the NRA is going? The direction that it's going? Yeah. Do you think it's embracing new media? Do you think it's embracing new ideas? Well, I think, think they, I think they made a huge step by having the, the panel that you guys did, and, yeah. and putting their name to it, and supporting and sponsoring it. Of course, I heard the one guy was being a douche. You yeah. know, toward the end, well, you know, yeah. when yeah, you know, no campaigning in here, you crotchy old bastard. What about uh? But you shut him down, right? You it, showed him who was boss, right? I mean, we were just—it uh, was really awkward and quiet for a few minutes, and then uh, someone in the audience yelled, "Vote for Adam Kraut," and and it got really awkward. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. No, it, it, everybody well, laughed. Did, was that <laughs> being recorded? Uh, yeah, I'm I sure bet it they was. edit that out. Oh, I, I, I bet that they don't edit out. No, I, I you don't think so? No, I think it'll be in. Okay, I hope it is. Yeah. I hope so. Yeah, but yeah, no, I great. think it, I think it's uh, they're embracing, you know, the younger, the new media. Uh, there's more they could do, obviously. Yep. You know. I mean, uh, I. But that's I, that's up to us to. I have a hard time coax them into doing. Yeah, that, I have a know? hard time looking at the NRA, the board members, and saying they look like me, they represent me, they. I feel like You're talking about Tom Selleck. I'm talking. Well. I'm not a celebrity. I, he does have Carl Malone. You kind of look like Carl Malone a little, <laughs> little bit. A yeah. little bit. I don't think he's even been sworn the in. The mailman. I mean, it's 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 uh, it's it's very it's very sad. To, I I don't think I think we need new blood in there. People like Adam Crow. I think people that reflect our views more. I think media. we need. It needs to be diverse. Yeah. We we need the seasoned people that are there, but we also need a younger group behind them. Yeah, you know, we, we need, need somebody energy. in the middle. We need more energy there. We need we need women. Well, I want I want know? somebody who's you know first gun wasn't a uh, you know Remington Rolling Block twenty two, like and that's all that existed when this guy grew up. Well, and don't forget, sure. I mean, like our friends, we've got people on the board that are our good close friends, and they're yeah. they're amazing, and they work so hard for everyone. And, and uh, you know, like uh, Tim Knight and Sean Maloney, I mean, these guys are literally just out working their butts off. Yeah, sorry. Is that your phone? Yeah. And then, it gets, and then it gets overshadowed by a person who's been on the board for however many years that you're like, why the fuck is this person on the board? Yeah. 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 So and, I think, and I think not only that, but, but people's background diversity, too. They need to have, like, you know, he's a lawyer, an attorney, and that's great to have on the board. You need somebody from the media side on there, too. You need somebody from the manufacturing side on there, too. You need, you need somebody from the consumer side on there. Yeah. Totally agree. You know, so I like how every time you hit that, the table, you like it? the red line. Yeah, it, it jars my memory. It's, it's <laughs> like gets that word out that I'm trying to jars the, jars the microphone. It's like sound effects. <laughs> and I got a pee too. So same. There's a, there's a <laughs> bottle right behind you. Yeah. So let's do this. Let's let's, uh, let's end this. Because I gotta go take gotta a pee. I gotta <laughs> take a pee break. You guys, exactly. you guys apparently gotta take a pee break too. But yeah. we like shooting. Yep. Always been tight with you guys. Always. Very supportive of your show. Likewise, Lo- love the show. Love you guys. Wait, it's we do a show. You. It's a, I heard it's a podcast. Oh, yeah. we like shooting. It's a podcast. It's it's a thing. It happens. It's like my first reaction when Zeke said, "Hey, man, let's do a podcast." You're like, "What is that? What the fuck's a podcast?" Yeah, yeah, totally agree. That's kind of what he's like, happened. He's with- like, "Just shut up and we'll do it." I was like, "Okay." done but yeah i mean uh so we launched a second show we've got a show called double tap now that's on every week double tap yeah yeah so uh, what is that all about so it's tell uh, me about this i haven't heard about the this. same cast and uh we just do different things we do a segment called sick burn where we just kind of make fun of youtube videos and mostly uh, we, we got a, a lot of uh um talking leads sorry <laughs> <laughs> i'm like what the fuck uh talking, like, 
I haven't put out a video in I don't have a long, so I know you're not you're not doing my video. Oh, unless you're going oh, back the in the archives. It's on the internet. Yeah. It's still there. <laughs> so yeah, we roast uh, like Mystery Science Theater 3000 style. Then we've got Dear WLS where people write in questions and we answer them no matter what they are. Whether you it's need to do the very first one that Zeke and I did where we're sitting there and I got the cowboy hat on and the sunglasses. You need to roast that one. All right. All right, we will. We can, if we can find it. It's out there. And it, to be fair, is. we did roast ourselves. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We roasted ourselves multiple times. But, nice. uh, yeah, we do that, and then we've got a few other segments. It's one hour long, so we're doing three and a half hours of original content every single week. And, uh, yeah, it's a blast. So check it out. We like shooting.com slash show. Sweet. Wherever. Good podcast. So we need, to, we need to continue our discussions, yep, too. I agree. Yeah. I was thinking that. Yeah, I've been thinking. I've had some ideas. Yep. All right, we'll, we'll chat. Some things. We'll talk. Uh, talk. Lunch, so lunch one of those ideas. So cryptic. Yeah, yeah. I'm getting ready to chow. Over All these too. secrets. Yeah. 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 All right, let's let Marty eat. Yeah. And yeah let's keep mine here so he pees MP. himself. I want, I want to steal I'm just, just going to walk away and let you guys keep talking. <laughs> you know we will for all the hours. All of it. Yeah. Absolutely. How much memories on that thing? Infinity. Infinity. Uh, is, is, Infinity. Is it, is, all right, let me ask you, is an Infinity an actual tangible thing or is it just a concept? Infinity? Yeah. Can you say infin- infinity and it actually? Well, you can't something? really you can't really touch infinity because Are you, aren't you touching infinity now? No. No, I can infinitely try to reach for infinity and oh. never touch it. But so you're infinitely trying, though. Right. Yeah. See, Again, so that's not a tangible thing. It's a concept. It is a concept because you can't shut up, Aaron. You can't uh, <laughs> you can't comprehend it. <laughs> All right, lead heads. That does it for another episode of the Talking Lead Show. We appreciate you guys tuning in, and as always, we'd appreciate your feedback. If uh, you're listening on iTunes, iHeartRadio, Stitcher, where it is that you are downloading and listening to the show from, we'd greatly appreciate you leaving us some, uh, some comments, some feedback there on those podcasting stations. I want to give you a quick update on the Leadhead Logo Design Contest, hosted by Talking Lead and 1776 United. We've narrowed it down to the three finalists, and we're in the process of getting a couple of those actually rendered. Uh, We had one that was a drawing that was submitted, and then the other two are actual uh, descriptions. So we're going to try to get those rendered, and then we're going to post those three up for you guys to to place your votes for the winner. And the winner of that contest is going to get a patch and a T-shirt with that logo design on it. You're going to get a classic Talking Lead t-shirt, and then you're going to get a $100 gift card to 1776 United's website. So be looking for that. We'll make the announcements when we get those posted uh, for you guys to start voting. Another big thanks to our sponsors, Frontier Tactical. Check them out at FrontierTactical.com. Modern Spartan Systems for all your gun optimization needs. Check them out, ModernSpartanSystems.com. And then, of course, x Steel Targets. X Steel Targets. For all your AR 500 steel target needs, check out XSteelTargets.com. We'll be back next week, Leadheads. But until then, keep your loved ones close and your firearms closer. <laughs>